welcome back to another This Week in Polish. I have some really fun things to share with you. I am so excited. How is your week? It is officially vacation week for me and I am thrilled. It is so weird because I didn't work yesterday, Friday. Now today I feel like it's Sunday. It's not Sunday, it's Saturday. My whole entire week is gonna go bleh words. My whole entire week is going to be so thrown off because I'm going to keep thinking it's the wrong day. But there are definitely worse problems to have. <laughs> Let me know what you have been up to this weekend. Let's talk about some polish. So if you don't know, if you haven't been around for a little while, I adore my bright colors. Winter and Christmas time, well more winter and fall are more of a dark color season. I'm not always a seasonal nail polish wearer and I missed my bright colors. So, uh, this hit the spot. This was so fantastic. This is China Glaze Flip Flop, Fan Flip -flop Fantasy. It is just like a bright neon in your face peach color. You know I love these peach colors and brights, so this one is perfection. It takes me two to three coats to get it opaque. It's a little bit streaky. It's not really, my bottle isn't really thin. It's just kind of like patchy. So I had to do three coats, but worth it. Totally worth it. I wanted to have something extra Bright and obnoxious for December was apparently not enough, so I put some glitter on top. This actually is a Christmas glitter, so I was kind of being seasonally appropriate. This is Your Presence Required from China Glaze. It came out a while ago. This glitter is not typical Christmas colors. There's a bunch of metallic hexes. So we have purple, blue, uh, like copper, and matte white and maybe silver. Uh, but it looked so cool over this bright color. Not Christmas, even though this is technically a Christmas glitter, it was not holiday at all. But I don't care. I want it obnoxious. Okay guys, this next one, like, I could not handle how incredible. This was incredible. Okay, so I got this topper from Colors de Carol uh, for Black Friday. This topper, Phoebe raved about this topper when it first came out. It's called Camellia. I, I cannot explain to you. I, I am so happy I got it. I am thrilled. This was gorgeous. Um, I put it over this OPI, which is Less is Norse. We've already talked about this. I've already worn it. But I thought that these two together would be fantastic, and I was right. I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with me being right. It just has to do with this topper. Oh my god. Okay. Let's talk about this topper. <laughs> so it's holographic, and it has multi-chrome flakes. And there's a few different kinds of multi-chrome flakes, but it's like there's this shimmer in it as well. I don't know. Like, it transformed Less is Norse to this sparkly, amazing, heavenly polish. And it just was like, it was incredible. I feel like there's like iridescent glitters in it. Like, this topper has everything. It's like mashup of every other topper that you could have and it is go and get it it's incredible it is oh my god it's so good okay anyway so I did that and then I needed nail art on top of it but I didn't want to cover up the gorgeous polish so I just did like a filigree I used a couple essies this is si vous play from this year a few collections back and then penny talk because i always use penny talk 
But I just did like a simple little filigree. I used a toothpick. It was super simple. And oh my lanta. Like this topper needs to go over every like oh my goodness. You all need it. You have to get it. Oh my god, it's so good. Anyway, and then I tried to mattify it the second day. I really didn't like it matte. I mean, it was okay, but usually I'm like, oh my goodness, matte all the flaky things. But this one just was so much better sparkly. It was, wow. Alrighty, my next manicure I used this OPI. This is called Kiss Me or Elf came out in a Christmas collection obviously who knows when I don't um, super professional aren't I um, anyway this is like a black cherry marionberry color it's more purple than the pictures that I took the, my camera really wanted to make this more of a red but it's not it's like a wine berry and there's shimmer that flashes pink and gold it's really 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 pretty I love this color for this time of year and then I wanted to do nail art I used this silver this is just your typical like foily metallic silver and it's called I'd melt for you from last year China glaze collection two years ago I don't know I'm really fantastic with this whole remembering <laughs> collections thing but this color is really really pretty I love using this as nail art as it's like um, penny chalk except for it's the silver version so it's really good for nail art I used uh, my nail art brush and I did a pattern that was like knit sweater kind of pattern anyway so I liked how that turned out and my last manicure I did, this is a Colorstick Carol polish from Pick, Polish Pickup last month, I believe. And it's green. It kind of is like, it's like a yellowy green with gold glitter. And it's a duochrome, so it flat, like the flip is a blue, purple, copper. And this is so pretty. It's like really non-traditional green for Christmas, but I liked it a lot. It's called WW, which I believe is Breaking Bad. I don't remember. I don't watch that show, but I don't need to watch that show to love this polish. And I really like it. To make it more Christmassy, I topped it off with a Sinful Colors glitter. Uh, this glitter is from last year, and it's called Santa Claus. It's uh red and white glitter so the white is metallic no strike that reverse it the white is matte the red is metallic and there's bigger of the two and then there's a little itsy bitsy tiny shimmer almost shimmery size of those two colors so it looks really cool over a red it looks cool over a green last year I feel like I did this over red. I don't remember. Um, but the problem with this glitter, I usually don't mind Sinful Colors glitters. They're usually pretty base heavy, but I mm, use a sponge to do glitter gradients, so it's not that big of a deal. But this one, I tried to make it like fully, like just brushed on with a brush, and it wasn't terrible. It's just kind of obnoxious because there is a lot of base. So I would recommend using this at, with a sponge, maybe. You probably would get a little bit better results, but I still liked it. Alrighty guys, that is my video this week in Polish. I am officially on vacation, like I said, so I'm planning on filming some more videos. I hope that you are excited to see some new stuff. We'll do OPI and holiday pics and some nailer tutorials maybe we'll see how much time i actually have <laughs> i don't want to like try and bite off more than i can chew but i will work on it for sure let me know what you have been wearing down in the comments you know i always love to hear and i hope that you enjoyed this video 
I appreciate you coming and hanging out for a little bit. I will see you again really soon. Thanks guys.